Here I'm going to show you how to generate a random number which is between two numbers. So a number which has a lower and an upper limit which it cannot go past but which has decimals after it. Now this is an important but so let me explain. Here I want to generate a number between 100 and 110 between 30 and 40 and between 225 and 275. But I want there to be decimals after it, so I don't want it to just be integers. Now this is an important note because otherwise I could simply use equals rand between to get a number between these numbers. And that would generate a random number. But it wouldn't give me the decimals afterwards. It would just give me whole integers. So in order to get the decimal places, you have to use the regular equals rand function. Now let me show you how to create this. And you can do it with any number. So you can do it between 100 and 1,000, 100 and 1 million. It doesn't matter at the uh, lower and upper limit. It's up to you. So here, let's get a number between 100 and 110. I have the formula spelled out right here, but I'm going to go ahead and redo it. Now this formula is really just made up of three parts. The first one is the equals rand open close parentheses. But now you need to figure out how to get between 100 and 110. So you have to multiply the rand function by the difference between the numbers. So since the difference between 110 and 100 is 10, you multiply the rand function by 10. Then you have to add the lowest number, so the lower limit. So I have to add 100, so plus 100. Now what this is doing is it's saying that the rand function is simply going to generate a decimal between 0 and 1. And you're going to multiply that decimal by the difference of the numbers that you want to get. So the difference between 110 and 100, which is 10. So multiplying 10 by this decimal function equals rand is going to give you somewhere between 0 and 10. So then, say equals rand turns out to be 0.5. So 0.5 times 10 is 5, and 5 plus 100 is 105. So that's the gist of uh, how this actually works. And if I hit enter, I'm going to get a number here. And every time that I hit F9, it's going to refresh the random number. So when I hit F9, you can see it is never below 100 and never above 110. Now just two other quick examples so you can get the hang of it. Let's get a number between 30 and 40. So equals rand open close parentheses times the difference between the upper and lower limit which is 40 minus 30 so 10. So rand times 10 plus the lower limit 30. Enter. And then I hit F9. It's always between 30 and 40. Now the last one is between 225 and 275. So equals rand open close parentheses times the difference, which in this case is going to be 50 plus the lower limit of 225. Hit enter. And there we go. I can hit F9 and they all work. Now it's important to note that if you want to generate a list, so say you want to have uh, 10 randomly generated numbers between 225 and 275, simply copy this formula and uh, paste it however many times you want. And now every time you hit F9, you will get three, in this case here, three randomly generated numbers between 225 and 275. So that's how you can actually make oops, a list. And like I said before, you can do this with any size number, you know, between 1 and 10, or between 1 and a million. So that's how you can generate a random number with a lower and an upper limit that has decimals in it. So it's not just an integer.